I'm excited to tell you that YouTube has just made it a little bit easier to get subscribers. Alongside eight new updates are changes to the like and subscribe button. No, 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 no. This time, it's good. Check this out. After you upload a video, YouTube scans it to understand what's being said. And now when creators say words like like or subscribe, YouTube will add a visual cue over the corresponding button as a way to prompt viewers to click. The animation looks like this, and as you can see, it's synchronized with the words that are spoken in the video. Once your viewer clicks the button, they'll be rewarded with what YouTube calls playful sparkles. <laughs> playful sparkles. That's cute. It's a pretty well-known marketing principle that interactive and dynamic elements, such as animations, can enhance user experience and engagement. Animations can make the content more appealing and can attract viewers' attention, encouraging them to interact with the content, such as liking and subscribing. Ah, oh, this is perfect because it's already hard enough to get subscribers and to have this animation that's going to guide viewers to taking that action when we ask for it, it's just gonna help us out a ton. But this feature does have some restrictions. The animations won't appear every time the words are said. They are limited to three times per video and there must be at least three minutes between each instance. This ensures that the feature is used effectively without overwhelming viewers. Okay, I'm gonna talk about it. I know there's so many creators who are pretty much saying, no, I'm not gonna do it. It feels like begging. I don't wanna beg my subscribers to do anything. I just wanna warn you that that mindset lost our channel 150,000 subscribers. I'll explain. Since 2022, I rarely asked viewers to like or subscribe. I just focused on providing value and hoped that they would. And that got us to 750,000 subscribers. That's not bad. But a few months ago, I began asking for subscribers right in the middle of content, nothing crazy, really short, really simple, and the results are crazy. Instead of gaining one subscriber for every 60 views that a video got, we started gaining one subscriber for every 30 views. That's double as much. I did the math, and if we would have started doing this at the beginning of the year, we would have had 900,000 subscribers today. And not to mention, we didn't see any negative impact on our retention. Hey, hey, that, that's the results that we got. And at the end of the day, you make your own choice. But if it's up to me, I say you start asking for subscribers in your content right now, because imagine the impact doubling your subscriber rate will have on your channel over the course of a year, two years, three years, for the lifetime of your channel. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And study after study shows that animations used to highlight actions or key information can significantly increase user engagement. So now your verbal call to actions that were already effective will have an additional visual cue to support them. And you can expect to see an increase in engagement in subscribers because of it. But this feature will only work if you say it, so there's none of this just tossing it on screen or just hoping that it happens. You have to make it verbal. All right, hey, let me know in the comments. What do you think about this update? If your channel is under a thousand subscribers, I talk about this method more, along with a few other methods in this video right here. Please like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Keep creating.